chapter 5 in the Adam's Car tutorial series. The knowledge that we going share today will prove too very important for you, and it definitely going to help you grow as an automobile enthusiast. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Good day, folks let's perform full vehicle analysis in Adam's car and get to the next level with the software. Watch till the end because after this doesn't have to go through any other video for Adam's car software. Today we going to see one of the important off-road and on-road simulations on the vehicle using various roads and test rigs. We will start with durability analysis, which consists of the SPMM test rig also known as suspension parameter measurement machine, then we will see the kinematic and compliance test rig at the static condition, and after that, we will go through four post-rig tests. We will not only learn to perform these simulations, but also we will understand where to use the simulation, and what we will get from which analysis. After durability analysis, we have also lined up with roll stability analysis, which will be consist of off-road and tilt analysis events. After roll stability events we will also perform cornering event analysis. You use cornering analyses to evaluate your vehicle's handling and dynamic responses during various cornering type maneuvers. Cornering analyses use both open and closed loop controllers of the steering, throttle, brake, gear, and clutch signals to investigate various vehicle behaviors. You can investigate both steady state and limit cornering to characterize responses such as understeer oversteer gradients, weight transfer, and so on. Here are some vehicle dynamic characteristics that are being measured in today's tests. You will be able to understand this mentioned characteristics on a practical basis. Durability analysis. Durability test is performed on a vehicle to understand the potential of your vehicle structure and its fatigue life in extreme load conditions. Let's know something about the SPMM test or we can say suspension parameter measuring machine. If you working on a project or you have a commercial car you go and do practical testing of your car on this SPMM test rig, I promise you will get to know more about your car and automobiles as well. You can test where the car servicing shop has this testing available. You perform an SPMM analysis to measure kinematic and compliance K and C, characteristics of the vehicle due to suspension and steering system geometries and compliances due to suspension springs, anti-roll bars, elastomeric bushes, and component deformations. SPMM applies known displacement, force, and torque inputs and measures the quasi-static suspension characteristics that are important to ride and handle. By performing SPMM tests, you can make design changes to achieve performance targets and obtain important vehicle suspension parameters. In Suspension Parameter Measurement Machine SPMM, you can do below sub-events. Vertical motion. Roll motion. Steer motion. Compliance. Aligning torque. The SPMM test actuates the chassis part using motion in jounce, rebound, and roll sub-events. The chassis part is fixed at the static configuration in the steering, compliance, and aligning torque sub-events. In compliance and aligning torque sub-events, general forces are used to apply forces and moments at the tire contact patch or at the wheel center. In steering sub-event steering wheel is actuated using rotational motion. Before performing an SPMM analysis, you must specify several parameters about the vehicle in which you intend to use the suspension and steering subsystems. These parameters include the steering ratio, whether or not the suspension is front or rear wheel drive, and the braking ratio. In India, Natrix has this SPMM test rig facility. Vehicle Dynamics Lab in Inder will complement the world-class test tracks planned there. The lab will give R&D facilities to the automotive sector by simulating real road conditions in test lab scenario. Vehicle Dynamics Lab will assist component and vehicle manufacturers in developing components and vehicle structural designs that are assessed using the latest techniques. The lab will provide test facilities for evaluation of vehicle components, automotive sub-assembly and complete vehicle for performance and durability. The entire facility is divided into four test rigs, designed to combine the most faithful possible simulation of on-road vehicle behavior, with the highest possible measurement accuracy, it is the development tool of choice for suspension engineers around the world. At the heart of the SPMM, 5000E is the moving center table which is precisely controlled in 6 degrees of freedom by 6 precision electromechanical actuators, so that a combination of roll, pitch, bounce, and yaw motion can be applied to the vehicle body during K and C and MIMS testing. This design means the ground plane, road, remains fixed during vehicle cornering and braking simulations. Exactly as it does when driving on the road. The SPMM is configured with either two or four wheel stations. These apply X, Y, and delta forces and displacements to each wheel, and then measure the resultant wheel forces, moments, and displacements. 
Pia's electric load cell assemblies below each wheel provide high accuracy measurement of the three orthogonal wheel forces and the three wheel moments, whilst the wheel position measurement system accurately measures the X, Y, Z, steer, camera and spin motion of the wheel center. During vehicle loading, the wheel stations also provide automatic adjustment for wheelbase and track. Dynamatic and Compliance KNC, Static Dynamic Analysis KNC Static and Dynamic Analysis is the derivative of SPMM analysis. In KNC analysis vertical and roll motion actuation are carried out by actuating wheel part instead of the body as in SPMM. The SPMM test rig actuates wheel part using motion in jounce, rebound, and roll sub-events. The chassis part is fixed at the static configuration in the vertical, roll, steering, compliance, and aligning torque sub-events. In compliance and aligning torque sub-events, general forces are used to apply forces and moments at the tire contact patch or at the wheel center. In steering sub-event steering wheel is actuated using rotational motion. Kinematics and Compliance Test Machine is a suspension parameter measurement machine SPMM. The machine is useful in establishing the kinematic characteristics of a vehicle suspension system and the geometry of the steering system, as well as studying compliance characteristics of suspension spring, anti-roll ball, bushes, etc. The test rig is helpful in a thorough understanding of vehicle performance, such as ride, impact isolation, steering, and handling. The KNC test machine is a reliable and safe test machine which helps in studying KNC characteristics of vehicles very quickly, reliably, and repeatedly. The KNC test rig is capable of the testing a wide range of suspension characteristics through a wide variety of displacement, force, and test of moments to the suspension system. All the test result measures through computerized environment through graph plotting facility. This help in the rapid result obtained soon after the test was completed and provide automatic calculation of loop gradients and hysteresis. The system is capable of displaying multiple plots and data from one test can be laid over data from a previous test. Engineers want and need complete information on suspension system performance, including data on dynamic performance, in order to accurately evaluate and compare the effects of the suspension performance on handling. Historically, obtaining objective data on suspension performance as it relates to wheel position control has been one of the more difficult aspects of suspension design. Kinematics and compliance measurement apply known displacement or force inputs to the suspension and measures the position changes at the wheel center. Kinematics tests measure wheel latitude changes that occur due to position changes, such as roll and ride height, while horizontal forces are zero. Compliance tests measure wheel latitude changes due to horizontal force inputs. By performing kinematic and compliance deflection measurement tests, suspension designers and vehicle dynamicists can make design changes to achieve performance targets and obtain important vehicle suspension parameters. Four post-road simulator systems are designed to reproduce the vehicle responses experienced under both normal and extreme driving conditions. 
These systems are frequently used to test vehicle bodies, chassis and suspensions components to establish their performance characteristics and durability. Other specialist applications include quality control and squeak and rattle assessment. While the most common form of these rigs is the four-post, this can easily be extended to six or possibly more post configurations for larger vehicles with additional axles, such as trucks and some larger buses. Key specification points include vehicle mass, the unsprung, moving, mass of the wheel and suspension components, and the wheel pan velocities and accelerations required. It is worth noting that a full durability setup for a sports utility or off-road vehicle will require a very much larger HPS than a squeak and rattle setup for a smaller family car. Benefits of Adam's Car 4 Post Ride Adam's Car Ride enables you to work faster and smarter, letting you have more time to study and understand how design changes affect vehicle performance. Using Adam's Car Ride you can Explore the performance of your design and refine your design before building and testing a physical prototype. Analyze design changes much faster and at a lower cost than physical prototype testing would require. For example, you can change springs with a few mouse clicks instead of waiting for a mechanic to install new ones in your physical prototype before re-evaluating your design. Vary the kinds of analyses faster and more easily than if you had to modify instrumentation, test fixtures, and test procedures. Work in a more secure environment without the fear of losing data from instrument failure or losing testing time because of poor weather conditions. Run analyses and what-if scenarios without the dangers associated with physical testing. Perform a repeatable set of tests on a global basis, ensuring that you work with common data, tests, and, most important, results. We will import the SUV model which is a crossover car model. And then we will perform a road test by using road profiles from the Baja template. During daily traffic, automobiles overcome different types of road irregularities. In order to analyze the effects generated by the overcoming of these irregularities on several systems of the vehicle and its occupants, a simulation computer tool has been developed. The development of this tool allows analyzing speed bumps, comparing the results with experimental data, and establishing a set of guidelines for correct speed bump design. To predict the behavior of the vehicle when it overcomes speed bumps, it is necessary to study several parameters. The main variables to be analyzed are dimensions and geometry of the speed bump and speed and suspension of the vehicle. We have previously made the video on hitting the speed bumps with the high speed you can check it out by click on the above card.
are all stability events. Adam's car provides a range of events to analyze role stability and simulate role overuse cases. The role stability analyses include embankment, ramp, corkscrew, tilt table analysis, sand bed analysis, embankment. During an embankment analysis, the vehicle is driven over a small ramp, then down an embankment until it reaches the ground surface. The vehicle starts with an initial velocity, and after the trigger point is passed and a specified delay is reached a constant ramp steer is applied. The steering stops at the final steering angle. The simulation ends when the end time is reached or the maximum roll angle is achieved, 89 deg. The road can be used with or without a rollover bar. The user can change the position and height of the rollover bar to meet his requirements. An embankment analysis helps you study the vehicle reactions to sliding down the road and rolling over. The embankment road type can be rigid or soft soil. The rollover bar is always rigid. In the embankment rollover test, the vehicle is leaving the crash track and drives on a slightly declined slope of a ditch. The surface of the slope is sand to enable a lateral sliding of the car. Different approach angles and slope angles can be adjusted in this test setup. Also, steering can be considered, which is necessary in some cases to ensure rolling over. Considering the probability that a vehicle rolled over given involvement in a single vehicle crash, we find the following. We generally find that sport utility vehicles SUVs, were more likely to have rolled over than pickups, which in turn were more likely to roll over than either vans or passenger cars. Vehicles that were more likely to roll over were older, were driven by younger unbelted drivers, had more occupants, and were in speed-related crashes on roads with higher speed limits and non-intersection areas. Vehicles that were more likely to roll over were passing as opposed to turning prior to the crash, and the drivers in such vehicles attempted to steer when they realized that the crash was imminent. The first harmful event in the crash was either the rollover itself or striking an embankment. In single vehicle rollovers, SUVs had the highest rate of total ejection. Unrestrained occupants had more severe injuries and were totally ejected at a higher rate than restrained occupants. Ramp, Corkscrew. During a corkscrew analysis, the vehicle starts with an initial velocity and is driven over a ramp. The corkscrew DCP is similar to straight line maintain analysis. The simulation has three phases, ramp phase, airborne phase, and ground sliding phase. The simulation ends when the end time is reached or the maximum roll angle is achieved. The corkscrew analysis helps you study the vehicle reactions to moving up and rolling over. The ramp rollover test is performed on the crash track. During the test, the vehicle drives with one side of the car over a ramp. Different ramp types are used to realize roll and no roll events tilt.
tilt-table analysis. During a tilt-table analysis, the vehicle is dynamically or quasi-statically tilted about the roll axis until the user-specified tire force threshold is reached. This test is used to estimate a vehicle's aggregate CG height and rollover point. This event requires a full vehicle assembly with the tilt-table test rig. The tilt test analysis is also known as a curb trip. The curb trip rollover test has only a lateral movement. The test car is placed on a flying floor and hits laterally against a curb with the wheel rims. The height of the curb depends on the wheel size. After the impact between the wheel rims and the curb, the sled is decelerated by deformation tubes without influence on the car movement. This test is used to analyze the behavior of the vehicle structure under rollover loads, and here especially the remaining survival space for the occupants. Cornering events. You use cornering analyses to evaluate your vehicle's handling and dynamic responses during various cornering type maneuvers. Cornering analyses use both open and closed loop controllers of the steering, throttle, brake, gear, and clutch signals to investigate various vehicle behaviors. You can investigate both steady state and limit cornering to characterize responses such as understeer oversteer gradients, weight transfer, and so on. Constant radius cornering analysis. For constant radius cornering analysis, the driving machine drives your full vehicle down a straight road, turns onto a skidpad, and then gradually increases velocity to build up lateral acceleration. One common use for a constant radius cornering analysis is to determine the understeer characteristics of the full vehicle. This study investigated the full vehicle handling performance of a commercial vehicle fitted with an SLA strut front suspension system and a multi-link rear suspension system. Based on a detailed inspection of the hardpoint positions of the suspension system and steering system, a full vehicle atom analysis model was constructed and used to evaluate the handling performance of the vehicle in simulated constant radius cornering tests and impulse steering tests, respectively. The corresponding steady state and transient state responses of the vehicle were confirmed by experimental tests. The validated model was then used to investigate the design parameters which dominated the understeer behavior of the vehicle and the effects of the three main design variables, namely, the cornering stiffness, the toe-in angle, and the camera angle, on the steady state and transient state vehicle handling performance. 
Moreover, the cornering handling performance can be improved by increasing the cornering stiffness and initial toe-in angle and reducing the initial camera angle.
Acceleration Analysis. During an acceleration analysis, the driving machine ramps the throttle demand from zero at your input rate, open loop, or you can specify a desired longitudinal acceleration, closed loop. You can specify either free, locked, or straight line steering. An acceleration analysis helps you study the anti-lift and anti-squat properties of a vehicle.